Hello dear friends, this is Joel Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you and share with you a word from the Word of God. A little five or ten minute message. I believe it will bless your life and heart. I hope and pray it will. I want to speak to you on some reasons to rejoice. We ought to rejoice. I may be talking to someone right now and you're really feeling down. You need some help. Things are not going right and it's dark and you find that you're looking for help. But I want you to know that you have reasons to rejoice. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you have reason to rejoice. The Bible teaches some things that we can rejoice over. And may the Lord bless this message to your hearts and to your life. The Bible says, number one, we need to be right with God, reconciled to God. And that comes when we believe in Jesus as our Lord. Because you see God placed on Him the iniquities of us all. And we were all like sheep going astray. <clears throat> but he brought us back to the fold through Christ our great shepherd. And Jesus paid the price on the cross. And there he died so that we would never die. And he rose again so that we would live forever. And he's coming back. We need to ask him to come in our heart. And be the savior of our life. <clears throat> ask God to forgive you. Just pray a brief prayer and say dear God. Please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He paid for all my sins. And I praise God. I believe He rose again from the grave. I believe He's coming back. Come in my heart and help me live for you, Lord Jesus, as the Lord of my life. Amen. Pray a prayer something like that and know that you belong to God. Then find your good church and worship the Lord. There are some reasons in the Bible that we need to know in regard to rejoicing. Over in the 18th chapter of Psalms, we, <clears throat> we read these words, I will love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. He, I will trust in Him. He is my, my life. He is, oh God, my strength and hope. And so the Lord is your rock. He's your strength. I know you feel weak, but your strength is not in yourself. It's in Him. It's in Him that loves you and cares for you. And it says in the same psalm in verse 18, it says, My enemies came against me, but uh, the Lord supported me. He brought me <clears throat> forth into a large place, and He delivered me because He delighted in me. The Lord loves you, and if, if you're His. You belong to Him. He loves you very much. In spite of your trouble and trial, the Lord is there, and He's saying to you, Trust me, I'm bringing you into a large place. He's going to bless you. He's going to bless you with great blessings into a large place. And He delivers you. He'll deliver you. He'll find a way out. <clears throat> he will bless your life. It will count for God. You will come forth, and you will sing and praise His name. All because He delights in you. He loves you, delights in you. Another reason for for <clears throat> rejoicing is found in Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verse 5 and 6. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Do not always we won't talk about what you want, what you like to have, etc. But learn to be content with what you do have. Try to be content with what you have, dear friend, because he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Try to be content with what you have because you've got Christ. You've got the Lord. You've got God Almighty on your side. The Bible says, So then I may say that the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man can do to me. Don't fear what might happen, what others can do to try to hurt you. No, no. The Lord is your, your helper, your Savior. And He's the one that's going to bring you through. And He's the one that's going to bring you out and in. And God will bless you. God will bless you. He'll make it right for you. And you will find a way because God is your way. He is your way. And I thank God for that. The Bible says over in Romans 8, chapter, verse 28, a great verse. There goes up. Another reason for rejoicing. The Bible says, We know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called in accordance are called according to his purpose. If you're a Christian, called according to God's purpose. 
we know. It's not maybe so, we know that all things, not some things, not even most things, but all things will work together for good, for your good. So whatever you're facing right now, dear friend, it may be a heartache, it may be a disappointment, but whatever it is, I want you to know, put that verse right under it and know that it's working for your good. Somehow God's going to work it out for your good. So learn to rejoice even in your troubles because God is with you. When peace like a river attendeth my way or when sorrow like sea billows roll whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say it is well it is well with my soul oh it is well it is well with my soul praise god <coughs> excuse me if you're a christian saved by grace and it is well with your soul whatever you're facing god's facing it with you god is there to help you God is there to say, I'm with you. I love you. I'm going to bring you through. I've got some good things for you. I believe there's some people listening to me right now that's going to experience some good things in your life. That God's going to open the door. And God's going to bless you. He's going to give you strength you didn't know. He's going to open doors that you didn't realize. He's going to make a way and the sun's going to shine. And the blessings are going to come. So learn to walk by faith. Live by faith. Praise the Lord and rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in these things. Rejoice in the fact that God loves you. Rejoice in the fact that He saved you. You belong to Him. Rejoice in the fact that He is your helper and none shall make you afraid. Rejoice in the fact that all things are working for your good to them that love God. Amen. Rejoice because He is yours forever. Hallelujah. And blessed indeed be the name of the Lord. May God be your help today. Pray for me. I'm praying for you. God loves you. I love you. And may the hand of the Lord be upon you. In the name of Jesus, our beloved Lord. Amen and amen.